Yellow Dock is a fabulous serve for modern life. Not only does it support stage 2 detoxification of the liver, which most of us need because it's not practical to live in a bubble, but it also promotes healthy digestion, a diverse microbiome, and more. Yellow Dock, scientifically known as Rumex crispus, is a perennial herb belonging to the Polygonicae family, commonly referred to as the Knotwee family. This family also includes rhubarb, buckwheat, and sorrel. In this video, we're going to discuss Yellow Dock Root for STD and other uses. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. The name was given by Linnaeus and appears to be the only name used in modern literature. Yellow Dock contains a unique combination of constituents such as anthroquinones, tannins, minerals, and inulin that together synergistically support overall health. Native to South America, it's a common species in Argentina, southern Brazil, and Uruguay, which grows on the edge of mountains and hills in sunny areas of meadows, thickets, and forests. The bitter components in the yellow dog can also be very useful for naturally balancing hormones by supporting the elimination of excess estrogen during the luteal and menstrual phases of our monthly cycles. Because many skin issues originate from sluggish detox of hormones and waste products, the benefits of consuming bitters can also result in clearer skin. The spring leaf stalks of this plant have been used as a pot herb in salads but are disagreeable to some because of their tart, sour, sweet taste. Diarrhea is one of the symptoms of malaria. Diarrhea can be reduced by drinking yellow dock tea. Yellow dock is effective to heal diarrhea since it has been known as the traditional remedy for malaria. Other symptoms of malaria are fever and hot dry skin can be prevented by drinking yellow dock tea. Thus, yellow dock can be anti-malaria medicine for those who have malaria symptoms. Due to its astringent properties, it has also been used for external hemorrhoids. In addition, it's believed that the yellow root will improve a person's appetite and can be studied as a future treatment for eating disorders. Yellow root has been used to treat cold and flu symptoms as well as outdoor allergies. It's beneficial as a mouthwash and for ulcers of the mouth and stomach. Yellow dock leaves are extremely high in vitamin C, an essential vitamin for a healthy immune system. So high is the vitamin C content that it was used to treat scurvy. The disease that plagued the early European satyrs the root is effective at boosting an ailing and stressed immune system when lymphatic inflammation and liver deficiency are present. Sexually transmitted diseases, STDs, and acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, AIDS, are gaining significant importance at present due to the rapid spread of the diseases, high cost of treatment, and the increased risk of transmission of other STDs and AIDS. Current therapies available for symptomatic treatment of STDs and AIDS are quite expensive beyond the reach of the common man and are associated with the emergence of drug resistance. Many patients with STDs and AIDS are seeking help from alternative systems of medicines such as Unani, Chinese, Ayurvedic, Naturopathy, and Homeopathy. For a long time, medicinal plants have been used for the treatment of many infectious diseases without any scientific evidence. Yellow dog is used to treat bacterial infections and sexually transmitted diseases. According to the Herbal Academy, despite its gentle laxative effect, yellow dog has not been found to stimulate the pregnant uterus. Considered safe to take in pregnancy, traditional midwives have made syrups combining dandelion and yellow dock roots with blackstrap molasses for added iron. To this day, I prefer that a woman take a teaspoon of yellow dock tincture rather than fusol, a commercial ferrous sulfate supplement. Yellow dock root has been historically used as an iron building syrup by pregnant women. Always check with your doctor before adding herbs to your diet and listen to your intuition to help you make the best choice for yourself. Anemia is the condition in which the blood causes tiredness and also weakness at an extreme level. Research has proved that yellow dog root can heal anemia and it's known as the herb which can cleanse the blood and also strengthen the body. Those who want to try to heal anemia can take the root of yellow dog and simmer it for making tea. Yellow dog root is particularly rich in glycosides, plant compounds that are known for their hepatoprotective effects protecting the liver. These phytochemicals can help to stimulate the liver which in turn helps heal poor absorption of nutrients and increases bowel production. Also high in antioxidants, yellow dock works to scavenge oxidative damage and stress caused by free radicals, including within liver tissue. This assists the liver in eliminating toxins, excess hormones, and other waste products. The roots promote cleaning by increasing glandular processes. This helps your liver and spleen to regulate their functions. It's particularly useful for those who suffer from liver diseases including those caused by alcohol. Other folk uses include a uterine tonic for menstrual bleeding, internal bleeding, and metarrhagia. 
It can also be used as a vaginal wash for trichomoniasis and candidiasis. Anthraquinones, found in curly dog, also come with antioxidative effects. That means they can fight free radicals, molecules that are harmful to the body. Not only do they lead to cancer, heart disease, and diabetes, free radicals may cause acne as well. In an interview with Dr. Josh Zeichner, the dermatologist explained that free radicals bring about skin inflammation. This leads to blocked pores and subsequently pimples. Expectedly, antioxidants such as yellow dog may help neutralize free radicals, thereby reducing acne severity along the way. Anthraquinones in the yellow dog stimulate peristalsis of the intestines, which increases bowel transit time. Usually, people tend to use harsh addictive laxatives to address constipation. Even naturally occurring strong herbal laxatives can result in dependency and damage to the mucosal lining of the intestines. Because yellow dog has a smaller percentage of peristalsis stimulating ingredients, it can be used for a longer period of time with more gentle yet still effective benefits to digestive transit time. The yellow dog consists of methanol extracts, which are useful for DNA and other protections inside the body. It shows that yellow dog roots can be the anti-diabetics. Moreover, research suggested yellow dog as the anti-cancer since it can protect the DNA and protein. Natural remedies are part of our history, used to treat many issues, and they're still in use today. It has long been known to help keep your heart healthy, and now there's evidence to back this up. A study in the Journal of Lipid Research shows that yellow root lowers LDL cholesterol. It also reduces cholesterol levels in general within lab animals. The berberine and canadine within yellow root made cells more sensitive to noticing changes in your blood and fixing them. Most people have heard by now that including probiotics in the diet is just the first step to supporting a healthy microbiome. We must also include prebiotics, the food for the probiotics. The inulin is the yellow dock in prebiotic, feeding the beneficial bacteria that are essential for digestive health. Yellow dock has been known for its rich source of vitamin A, manganese, and also phosphorus, which is known as an effective medicine to treat fever and also suppress the appetite. Yellow dock can be used as a daily drink in order to prevent fever. With naturally astringent properties, yellow dog can be applied topically to alleviate swelling, bruising, rashes, sores, fungal infections, insect bites, acne, and eczema. Its astringent properties also make this herb an excellent skin toner, helping to remove dirt, traces of perspiration, and makeup from the surface of the skin. It also closes pores to prevent dirt and bacteria from entering. Its soothing and cooling action can provide relief from inflammation and reduce facial redness. Yellow dock is believed to accumulate beneficial minerals from the soil into its roots and leaves. These minerals are then passed on to the lucky consumers of the yellow dock. Knowing the prevalence of mineral deficiency in our country due to modern farming practices, impact on soil quality, this nutritive aspect is just one more reason to make yellow dock your herbal companion. It's high in iron and is considered a useful herbal companion during menstruation and you can apply the juice from the roots for external use in treating minor burns. While almost all people could benefit from detox support, those with the MTHFR mutation have genetically decreased detox efficiency. Adding detox supportive herbs like yellow dog can assist an underfunctioning liver get rid of toxins, waste products, and excess hormones. Yellow root can be used either fresh or dried. The herb is most often used to make teas or tinctures. Dried roots are either bundled or crushed and then steeped in boiling water. The root is not generally ingested whole, though it can be chewed. Fresh roots can be dried to preserve. Dried yellow root will keep for several months if kept in an airtight container. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This is all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video just for you guys. Please click on the next video to watch for more health info. Thank you very much.